Hi everyone, this is Florin, and I'm excited to introduce Evolta Tools DLoft to you today. Our new Rhino plugin provides a simple, precise, and hassle-free developable lofting command for curved geometries inside Rhino 3D. You can pick arbitrary curves, open or closed, polylines or polycurves, and obtain a developable surface with the push of a button. Developable surfaces can be unrolled flat in Rhino using the unroll surface command. Furthermore, I will expand on this and also compare to Rhino's native loft command with the developable option. In the next model, I will work on the main sail panels and some of the hull panels. Here we have a typical square top main sail coming out of a sail design software and we're interested in providing manufacturing geometry for cross-cut or horizontal cut panels usually used with Tacron or Pentex panels in sail making. Make no mistake, the sail surface is a complex double curved surface. To the right here I have prepared horizontal sections through the sail surface and I'll try to use those in order to loft developable surfaces that can be unrolled flat with no stretch or compression at all. First we will use the Rhino native loft command, then our Evoluta tools DLoft and compare the results. I have developable selected as a style. And I'll continue further down and loft the entire sail surface for comparison purposes. Such an apparently simple example, yet we can clearly see that Rhino has a hard time producing developable surfaces. Even worse, the surfaces created are sometimes poly surfaces with more than 10 panels. Next, we will try the Evolta Tools DLoft command on the same curves. Very quick results. We can even use meshes as inputs if needed. It is probably interesting to see the rulings of these surfaces. Again, these are single surfaces, not poly surfaces. And we can try to unroll a few and see if they're unrolling within document tolerance. and roll without a problem. We can continue with a few more panels. Again, unrolling without a problem. Now you can cut these uh, shapes out of flat fabric and recreate the sail surface itself. A further example is lofting a few hole panels. I will hide the surface isocurves to see better. Again, these curves are just straight sections through the whole panels pictured in orange. And we will try to use Rhino's loft command. And we're seeing the same results again. Rhino having a pretty hard time creating developable surfaces I will not even try to unroll these ones, I will just set them aside and use our DLoft instead. Pretty quick, nice smooth developable surfaces. We will just unroll a few. Unrolled without a problem and of course we can continue with the rest of the panels. Simple, quick and trouble-free developable lofting in Rhino 3E. 
This is a very basic example in the marine design field. However, the application range of the tool is broad, from architecture to marine design, product design, art, or wherever you need to use developable surfaces. Thank you for your attention and please email us any feedback you have.